Hello guys, let's see how we can install Apache, PHP and MySQL under Ubuntu 19.10 so type sudo apt install apache2 and this will install and configure the Apache web server for us it will even uh, start the service on uh, port 80 okay we can test within our browser uh, whether we can see the default Apache start uh, web page so just type uh, localhost and we see this is the default page back again to the terminal if we go to the directory var vv inside we have a directory html and uh, this directory is actually where our files are residing or this page that you see as you can see it's owned by root uh, and the group of uh, this uh, html directory is also root so we would like uh, to change this uh, from root uh, to ww uh, data this will be doing in order for our apache server to be able to write to this directory so first uh, we'll be adding our uh, current user to this www data uh, group and we'll type user mode a minus g www data and then um, our user which is stored in the um, user variable the next comment uh, is actually to change the group uh, from root root to www data we'll use chown and uh, we'll do this for the whole directory and all the recursive directories and files uh, which are inside and now if we type ls we can see that the owner and the group of uh, the html directory have been changed next thing we see that uh, the uh, group uh, permissions they don't have uh, permission to write to this directory uh, this means that we cannot uh, create files inside uh, we can change this by using uh, ch mode um, 770 uh, to this uh, directory we'll be using exactly 770 because we would like the owner in the group to have full permissions and all the other users uh, not to be able to access the files of uh, the web server so this is for uh, security uh, reasons okay the next thing if we write uh, groups and then uh, our user variable we see that we belong to this www data this means that we can um, read write and execute uh, this index.html file and uh, if we create a new file we see that it's owned by our uh, user and our group and we'll like new files also to belong to www data uh, group uh, so we'll use again ch mode and this time we'll set effective uh, group permissions so we'll type 2770 uh, and again we'll specify uh, the directory var vv and uh, we'll apply this rule uh, recursively and now uh, this rule will uh, be applied to the newly created files and directories inside of this directory so if we create one index.php file we see that it uh, has uh, a group uh, of www data which was our uh, goal now it's time to install uh, visual studio code so we type sudo apt install uh, code and then uh, we can run uh, the editor by typing cult dot and uh, we are inside of the of our current directory from here we can edit uh, index.php file and inside let's say hello from php and we save the file and let's try to run it in our uh, browser so we run index.php and we see the file is not uh, actually running let's see what is the problem first we need to install php as an interpreter and to connect it uh, to apache so we'll type sudo apt install php 7.3 uh, and uh, this way apache can uh, connect to the php interpreter and uh, actually run php files and display their output again we refresh and we see again a uh, white screen so we will try to restart the apache server in order to grab the new configuration 
go type sudo system control restart apache 2 and now it's time to correct our code so we forgot to type the long uh, php starting tag we save the file and refresh and we see hello from php this was our goal okay now let's install uh, mysql server so we'll type sudo apt install mysql server and we'll wait for the installation to uh, finish let's now configure the mysql server so we'll type sudo mysql secure installation we will set up our initial uh, user password uh, for the root user and uh, then we may press no to the other uh, options uh, if you want more secure installation of course you can press yes the next thing we would like to do is to enter uh, inside of mysql we'll type mysql uh, minus u and root minus p this means that we'll be entering as a, a root user and we'll type the current password we just entered and we'll use the mysql database from there we will select to see what kind of a plugin our user is using um, we should be able to see mysql a native uh, password as a, a plugin uh, if you don't see this uh, you have to set it up so you can uh, write actually outer user root identify it with mysql native password and then uh, in the quotes uh, you can type uh, your password for the mysql uh, root user uh, currently we set the password to mysql afterwards to make the effective uh, changes uh, you can type uh, flush privileges and exit the mysql uh, client next uh, we'll paste uh, some database connection code inside of our php file and here we have to uh, change uh, some of the variables uh, for example our username we'll set it to a root and the password to sql and we'll also uh, change the database to uh, test so basically we'll be creating a pdo connection we'll be connecting to the uh, local host and we'll be selecting our uh, database with the username and password provided uh, so if everything is okay we'll receive uh, connected successfully otherwise i will echo on the screen connection failed so let's uh, refresh our code we see that we have an error could not uh, find driver and if we type php info and refresh we would like to see the driver for the pdo inside of our uh, php uh, interpreter and uh, we see that uh, actually the driver is not enabled so now it's time to uh, enable it and install it uh, so we would, would like to install the connection between mysql and php We'll type sudo apt install php 7.3 mysql and uh, that's how we'll connect uh, uh, php with the mysql and now it's good to restart our apache server so we'll type sudo system control restart apache 2 and now if we um, run again our code php info we'll see but uh, if we search for um, MySQL support, uh, we actually have it. And we see that the PDO extension also is uh, enabled. So this is the missing driver uh, PDO, which we now uh, have. And now we can uncomment the previous code and save and try to reconnect. Uh, we see again that there is no such uh, database test all right we'll change the database uh, to uh, mysql and we see connected successfully and that's it guys that's how you can install all the three packages uh, php mysql and apache under ubuntu 1910 if you like the information uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel